Great. Hello, my name is Sheila. Hello, my name is Olivia. And this is our report for our personal project. This is our wrap-up video, but it is not goodbye forever. No. So, it's not. we're going to be reflecting on our experience making videos for you. So, at our school, we are in the Middle Years Program in the IB Program Organization. Um, so the middle years program is for grades 6 to 10, and it ends with the personal project. The big culminating capstone of your MYP experience. And so our school is being MYP accredited this year, and we are the first class to have all of us do the personal project. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so it's a project completed in our 10th grade year here in the U.S., and um, it's three parts, a project, a process journal, and a report. The project is all these videos we just showed you. Our process journal show me is all thing. our video notes and um, all the paperwork we filled out throughout the year. Um, and the report is what you're watching right now. And why did we choose that, Olivia? Well, we are very involved in the LGBT community with our school's GSA, mm -hmm. as she will be the president of that next year. Yay! And we both have very strong connections to it. We can also help people understand these concepts which may have been foreign to them or introduced to them in a way that was very negative, and this can help them change their mind about it and hopefully become a little bit more educated about the realities. So we learned a lot about the LGBTQ community. We already knew a lot. Um, some more than others. Not pointing any fingers. <laughs> so we learned a lot of new terms, and uh, we learned a lot about the more prevalent issues. You know, same-sex marriage is not the only issue in the community. Um, there's other issues that are just equally as important that we're focusing on now. And so we learned a lot about those and how we can help um, support and raise awareness for those topics. I've also gotten a lot better at using iMovie. Mm -hmm. And... I know she loves to get that, and I've used it a lot too. But this helped You're me. Better. Um, yeah, we I think mm -hmm. we both got a little bit better at it. So mm -hmm. not only was it a learning experience about the LGBT community, but also some technology that will help us later in our lives with further mm -hmm. educational projects. Mm -hmm. Also, social media sharing, um, really sharing our project through Tumblr. Um, we shared it a little bit through Facebook, I mm -hmm. think. Yeah, um, I did it through my Facebook mm -hmm. and just other social media outlets to really raise awareness for this. So the IB rubric has different numbers on it, and mm -hmm. a 7 or an 8 is the most successful you can be. And so we created a checklist at the beginning of our project describing different things that we wanted to hopefully complete, and that would determine whether or not we would be successful and thought that we would deserve a 7 or an 8. Mm -hmm. So here's our checklist of different things. We each made one, and they were pretty much the same. So we had some different goals. We wanted to create at least three to five videos, which check mark we achieved. Um, we wanted to pay at least 30 wonderful subscribers. We have more than that, which I'm very happy about. Yes, thank you all of you who, wherever mm -hmm. you came from, thank you so much. Yes, thank you. <laughs> However you found us, thanks. Um, we wanted to communicate with our viewers via email and comments, which we did. Thank you for everyone who commented, and you can do that from there. Um, and we communicated with email through a few people, and that was yep. really nice of you guys. Thank you. Um, and we wanted to share with our um, community in our city, and we did. We uh, shared our project at a PTO meeting, a parent-teacher organization meeting. We talked with a lot of um, different teachers and different community members. We shared this um, at our GSA. We shared our first video there. And, oh, that um, <laughs> yeah, back in such a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, um, and so we check mark. we achieved that. And we wanted to get involved with our peers in making the videos. And if you remember back to our second or third video, um, we had our friend Sarah on, and she helped us talk about different LGBTQ terms. And hopefully we will continue mm -hmm. to get our peers involved with further mm -hmm. videos. Yep. And in addition to that, we had our IB criterion, so that's criterion A, B, C, and D, four rubrics, um, investigating, planning, taking action, and reflecting. And so I think um, we fulfilled those pretty well, if you're familiar so. with the IB rubrics. For our, for, we had two different cultural lenses for our first one, which was personal and cultural experiences. We wanted our, we want to have special guests who would talk about each of their own identities, and that will hopefully bring some more awareness to the community. 
And also we hope that this would bring some more awareness to our school and encourage our peers to speak about their personal gender and sexual orientations. Mm-hmm. Even these relationships. On our channel, we also hope to discuss some different healthy relationships and how you can take care of yourself and others and how you can express yourself in a health in a healthy and safe way. And I think that we succeed with each of, with each of these. Both of you have this good content. Both of you have good content. Alright. Um, what did you actually do? Okay. But what did we actually do, Olivia? Well, we succeeded with our goal of making three to five videos. Mm-hmm. So I think we did that quite well. We had mm-hmm. some experience with our iMovie programs. Mm-hmm. And we also communicated with different viewers mm-hmm. through comments. So yeah. thank you all of you. <laughs> but Sheila, couldn't we have done more? Well, yeah, but these were our goals. We have very busy lives, and we wanted to put about put out a little bit of our time, carve out a little bit of that, and just give it to you guys to, you know, soak it in, learn a little bit about this, um, these important issues. And so, yes, we could have done more. We will do more in the future. Yes. You betcha. But, um, you know, these were our goals. We fulfilled our goals for this part of the project and this part of the channel. So, I think we did pretty well. Our criteria for success, originally when we first thought of the idea for the channel and we hadn't really sat down and made concrete plans, we thought that it would be a good idea to make a video every week for YouTubers who That hasn't that. happened. Yeah, <laughs> we've made only five videos. And for YouTubers who can do that, you guys are amazing. I have absolutely guys, no idea oh how. God, it's amazing. But we had such a hard time even getting together five videos. So that was a very mm-hmm. difficult goal. But I think once we narrowed it down to something more realistic, it definitely helped the project move along. We had very positive comments and viewer feedback. We did not experience any backlash, any mm-hmm. internet harassment, which we initially thought would be an issue, but we did not come across that at all. So thank mm-hmm. you. You're all very sweet. We appreciate it. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah. Um, what went well? A lot of things went well. Okay, we made these videos, we got comments on them, we got people emailing us asking when we were going to make more videos. It was great. Um, felt very loved. It was Yes, great. it felt very great for us. Um, and we want to keep continuing this, which I think means is a uh, measure of how well it went. You know, we mm-hmm. could have we could have made more videos, but I think for um, this project, I think this was a good mm-hmm. amount. And um, I guess we want to continue that now in the mm-hmm. future. Since we won't be required to do it then, it'll be a personal choice, and we mm-hmm. like it so much, we just wanted to do it for fun. Yeah. Um, how- Next time, um, I would definitely schedule things out a little bit yeah. more, because it was hard to, um, you know, fit everything in when it was like, oh, but I've, you know, told my friend for two weeks, so oh, we're going to go see this movie, and then, you know, we call it the day before, we're like, oh, we should make a video soon, uh, but I'm doing something, you're doing something, it's hard, it's hard to schedule things out when you have... Us busy high schooler lives. Yeah, we're just so popular. I know. <laughs> Olivia, my teacher says I have to do the personal project. Do I really have to? Well, you don't have to, but you're definitely going to want to. Because a lot of times we look at the word project and we get really scared because we think, oh my god, I don't have time for this. And that's what everybody thought when we first were introduced to this. Because we're the guinea pigs for this project for the mm-hmm. first year to do it. Then for we our were, school. Yeah, we were very nervous. And I think we were probably one of the very few groups or individuals who decided to take up the project. If you are taking this through our school, you will receive a quarter credit if you complete the project successfully. And also, overall, we had a great experience. We were already pretty close friends, but we got to have some more time together Mm -hmm. by making these videos. Yeah. Yeah. There's a great social aspect to it, as well as the educational you get to learn new skills that I didn't think I would learn how to do, such as working iMovie and sharing things online. And mm-hmm. you also will just generally get better at mm-hmm. planning out your time and projects and mm-hmm. things. So. And the personal project is a great thing. You know, everyone says it's a great thing to put on your high school resume. You know, you can say you did this. Mm-hmm. And it's also a great way to explore something new. If you did, if you like have been interested in a topic forever and you just haven't had the time to do it, then you can do it for your personal project. Then you will have the time. You will make the time and it will be your project. And you get to learn so much about it. And, you know, the personal project is whatever you want it to be. If you want to, um, you know, do a survey of people in high school, if you want to color code your bookshelf, 
if you want to learn statistics in a week, which is what one of the kids in our school did, it was insane. You know, yeah. this is your opportunity to do whatever you want. You don't have to know anything no. about it or be familiar with it whatsoever. If you want to do something, go for it. And there's going to be people to back you up. You'll have a supervisor and you will have your peers. You'll have a community night and you get to share what you learn mm-hmm. as long as you get help along the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's a great precursor into your senior projects. You know, if you want to work, if one of us wants to work with our LGBTQ community center with our senior project, we could say, hey, well, we already made this YouTube channel. Why don't you go watch some videos? And they'll be like, yeah, you could totally intern with us. And it'll be awesome. So don't turn your nose up at the personal project like we almost mm-hmm. did. Yeah. Don't be afraid of it. I know the word project gets everybody freaked out, mm. but it's really not that bad. Yeah. And it's going to be really fun. So it's what you make of it. So mm-hmm. enjoy it. Personal project is whatever you want it to be. It's great. My name is Sheila. My name is Olivia. And we're officially done with this personal project after we turn it in tomorrow. We're gonna miss you all. We'll be back.